awful lot going on in the downtown. I want to share with you some of the new projects that are starting. Uh, you hear a little bit of noise perhaps in the background, that's construction. The North Douglas streetscape is nearing completion. We got brick sidewalks, we got landscaping, we got irrigation, the road's been paved. It's just a great facelift to a road right next to the Dunning Brewery. So we're very happy with that. In addition to that streetscape, we got some new businesses and we got some new projects happening. All this is happening to create the great feel of our downtown. Activity-wise, we have the market, the very popular downtown market will be starting in the first week of November. That'll be the Friday, Saturday. So that's happening. Films of the Park will also be beginning here in, in October. The Retro Patina, uh, that's a new retail shop that opened up. We have Casa Tina's right in the heart of downtown that's expanding. We have uh, on Broadway, back in the day bookstores, now on Broadway, great place to go ahead and, and get a book. On 200 Main Street, this is down by the water, it's called Victoria Place. This is the luxury condos and 10,000 square foot of retail space that's also right in the midst of uh, beginning. So that's happening very nicely. Uh, also want to encourage you to take a look at the new public art we have downtown. To make your experience even a little better when you're walking, we have uh, dolphins that have been uh, uh, donated and sponsored by Peter Kreutzinger and Cafe Al Fresco de Bon Appetit. We have two dolphins, uh, one right near the trail and on Main Street, and we have another dolphin that's down by the marina, down by the Bon Appetit. In addition, uh, on Broadway, we have some new art, some figurines that are attached to the building. This is courtesy of Joe Kokolakis. They're on the building. They're a beautiful sculpture type of art, and you should take a look at that also, just opposite the uh, chamber building there on Broadway. So take a look at all the art. It continues to add to the experience of what downtown Dunedin is all about. Casco Viejo, they recently had the groundbreaking this week, uh, and this is a project that will feature retail shops on the first floor and residential condos above too. Uh, this is uh, coming from Renee Johnson, who has a living room. We're very happy that she's investing in her downtown. In addition to all the great things happening downtown, we also focus on economic opportunities that happen outside the downtown. And one of the great ones that's been accomplished is Achieva has made Dunedin their new corporate headquarters on the on the Virginia. Uh, the president and CEO, Gary Rigoli, we recently met with him, took a tour of his building, and they've done a $12, $13 million investment to create a new corporate headquarters. The employees love it. They've received awards as one of the best places to work for, and they are a partner in our downtown. They work with our recreation, they work with the library, they're on the chamber board. We're very happy and really want to welcome Achieva and what they bring to the city. This location is good because it's quiet, and it's, uh, there's plenty of parking, and uh, since we are pretty employee focused, we try to add a lot of amenities to the building that make this a great work environment. We included uh, uh, a couple of quiet rooms, one upstairs and one downstairs, so if an employee is stressed or they're not quite feeling well, uh, they can go and, and relax. It's a soft lighting, soft seating uh, room off by itself. We have a pretty nice sized break room that uh, employees can come and have lunch, and we've had functions in there. We have a multi-purpose room where we have a lot of meetings, but we also use it for exercise classes and everything in between. A mommy's room for nurse, nursing moms that uh, is obviously con convenient for for uh, those folks that work for us. And yeah, in the workstations we have uh, adjustable height work, work surfaces. So uh, as is becoming pretty uh, well known now that it's uh, healthier to have adjustable height workstations so folks can stand. But we added to that uh, treadmills. So while you're at your stand, uh, workstation standing, you can actually be on a work a, a treadmill and be walking and, and moving your legs, so it's healthier. And uh, a lot of collaboration areas, everything's kind of open and it gives folks a lot of chance to interact. Found everyone at the city very welcoming, very friendly. They went out of their way to help us and answer questions. And with all the equipment and everything here, our data center obviously is here too, so that's a pretty big part of, of our um, footprint. Uh, the total investment was around $14 million. So we initially started with 150 or so employees. We're over 160 now. 
Uh, so we've got a couple of departments that are growing pretty well and, and we expect to add more positions in 2015. Achieva has been around for 77 years and we've been uh, serving, largely serving the education community for most of those years, but we have what is now called a community charter so we can serve the general population. We serve nine counties. We have almost 20 branches across those nine counties from Pasco all the way down to Lee County. And we have other counties that we don't have locations in yet. Uh, but we provide financial services from A to Z, just like you would expect from a financial institution, consumer, mortgage, business, et cetera, et cetera. So we have about 160 employees here in this building and about 310 overall. So Chief has been recognized uh, by the Tampa Bay uh, Times as uh, one of the top workplaces the last two years.